we're starting off on. JJ's, uh, JJ's Diddy Kong's a little bit different than Marshall's. Marshall likes to go for some of those, uh, not not necessarily aggressive, but just off-kilter options. To I, really go on the back I like to call them nutty. They're nutty <laughs> options. <laughs> That's thematic. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway, so yeah, we're start starting off in Town of City right now. JJ, just starting off with a little bit of stage control, has Banana in play, but it looks like Snoopful's gonna push him off stage right away. This is what JJ really wants to get started, is these ledge traps, but okay. Very good recovery from Snoofle. Using the Fox Illusion, that puts you in center stage if you can sneak past this monkey. And that can be very helpful in just resetting the neutral. Alright, that's on a perfect pivot to give himself the up tilt threat, but instead... no, nope, he's just gonna take him from center stage, push him right off, but he's not gonna get that up smash follow-up. JJ smart in that. Wants to get out of that disadvantage situation, but okay, that up tilt really scooped nicely. And now you can see Fox is turning the uh, the boot on the other foot here, getting his lead trap on. Ooh, a nice little B reverse shenanigans from uh, JJ. I like the item play from these two. I have, I don't really get too much opportunity to see Snoofle's item play, but it, it's showing up right now. Sneaking that illusion down under the forward air that lingers so long. It looks like JJ saw that the banana was a little too far away from ledge, so he tried to roll right next to it just to see if he could uh, pick an option from there. But no, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. All right, nice back here, though. It's going to take the first stock. From the disadvantage state, here comes Snoofle. And that, that's like why, why Fox is so good in this matchup, is because just any, any matchup versus Diddy where you're the more explosive character, you can at least find those moments. It's sort of like mini Sheik syndrome, yeah. where Sheik just sometimes isn't explosive enough to seal the stocks, and then the guy who's explosive enough can take the stocks at like 70%. Fox is so explosive in that yeah. regard. <laughs> the banana actually got shined oh, like a little but more like vertical height on that. That was crazy. But yeah, with the amount of burst options that Fox has, he does very good against a lot of these characters, and especially when Diddy has to have a little time to set up for winning neutral with that banana. Fox is going to really capitalize on that. Oh, and chasing off stage. Actually, this is a scary spot for JD Rock, but all right, that up tilt is just always the most, I think it's like the most underrated tool Diddy Kong has, just because like, whenever you're in a tough spot, you always got that up tilt in your back pocket, it sneaks out of stock. I've actually talked to Marshall about that, and he actually, I don't know how true this is, but he, but he looked he looked online, and he compared that Diddy up tilt uh, knockback uh, growth to Ness's back throw. And I don't know, again, I don't know how true that is, but I was very surprised when I heard that comparison. <laughs> I don't think it's that good, but I know it's, it, is, it does have good knockback growth. And then that knockback growth wasn't enough to seal out the entire game for yeah. JJ Rockets. Of course, you saw Snoofle go on a really good run at the end. That Fox Vortex, very potent. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Looks like Smashville's going to be the second pick. All right, let's see if we can see a little more a little more of Diddy keeping to the advantage state. And right now, just going to duck under that laser to start off the game. Anyone who's got a crouch. Make note, crouches are so good, especially uh, and crawls particularly for just advancing through those projectiles. Mm -hmm. Diddy has a very strong one too because you can always down tilt right out of it, and especially on high characters who have to like grab kind of high as well. I've seen, I've seen what is it? Not Kirby's, but it, yeah, I think Kirby's like duck under uh, Falcon's dash grab, which is actually a very good tool to win. That's that, that's something that matters in a lot of matchups, like. I commented Pikachu Zero Suit Samus earlier. Oh, that's JJ, a good one. JJ was playing Pikachu, and that crouch is so useful against things like Zare. Oh, that should... Good. That was a crazy angle, though, from Snoofle. Oh, that, and he's still a banana on stage. Anytime a Firefox happens off stage in Diddy Fox matchup, that probably should result in a stock. But that time, Snoofle pulling a rabbit out of his hat there. Yeah. Whoa! That killed? All right. <laughs> that is Smashville a very back air. is a hell of a drug, and that back air is nutty. To it borrow your nutty. word. Oh no, that's absolutely fine. Go ahead and use it. The world needs to have more of the of that word usage. Anyway, but <laughs> yeah, it looks like oh man, Snoopal is just gonna keep him up by stage. Nope, but he's gonna get him in the knockdown. And, oh man, this is I love this play I'm seeing from Snoopal. He's just not forcing anything, he's just like getting in Diddy's grill and then making Diddy press a button and then capitalize. Like, this is such a different Snoofle than the Snoofle I saw even like a year ago when he debuted in this scene. Cause like, that, that Snoofle would just always go for, you know, fair foot stools and just like try to go for dash, force dash attacks when that's like, you know, it's like I can get the most reward out of this dash attack. Now this is a Snoofle that likes to, you know, get grabs, likes to just take jabs when he, yeah. when he, that's all he can get. He's letting the situations develop a little bit more organically. And it's turned into just a much more impressive 
advantage state, I think. Mm -hmm. And that Fox Illusion to up air is going to put JJ in not the best position. And he gets the Ooh. drag down with the forward air, and that up smash is going to take game two. Snoofle is up 2-0 against JJ in winner, loser semis. That was fancy. That was I, very fancy. I never see the drag down fair to land all, make sure the last hit doesn't land into up smash. I mean, you always see like the dares or the nair. Yeah, or even like the Firefox to read the air dodge, but that Firefox, he actually dragged him down with forward air, which was crazy. We'll see how this Pikachu works out here for JJ. He's becoming more and more confident in this character over time. I want, I want to see how it plays out versus the puck. Let's see. It's not and a matchup that you see very often. I mean, yeah, I mean, not, not even really any Smash game. I guess Smash 64, you'll see it sometimes, but that, that up tilt combo, combo is going to take a lot of percent. Almost 50. This is one of the advantages Pikachu certainly has. It's just like fastball combos are so good. He has speed, a little bit more speed than, uh, than Diddy Kong has to keep up. Of course, if you get hit by any of those kill confirms from Fox, they'll kill quite a bit earlier than Diddy Kong. Oh, yeah. And one of the reasons that he picks the stage, if, if you didn't hear us talk about it earlier, is that basically the whole stage of Lilat is a quick attack answer. So usually Pikachu has to rely on either like platforms or some kind of tilting platforms to do so. But on this stage, everything's a quick attack cancel. So we'll see if JJ kind of, don't want to say the word spams, but utilizes it very well and a lot. But I don't know, I haven't really seen it so far. You can't really spam it necessarily as much versus Fox, I want to say, because yeah. Fox can just cover that zone really quick. And also this Fox is just going on a run at the moment. I actually didn't even think that this percent added up nearly as much as it did until I looked down. Yeah. I was like, JJ, this is probably an even match, but then the Fox got like four hits and it's 100%. Whoa. All right, nice recovery. High by Snoofle, just dodging that uh, forward smash. But random up smash, but JJ's just going to be holding shield, so he's not going to get the most out of it. All right. Trying to take center stage here. There's a little bit of a quick attack cancel. Didn't really make too much happen of it, but you got to tech that, man. Mm -hmm. That down tilt is such a good tech trap from, from Pikachu. Now we'll oh. see how Snoofle plays from behind. I was talking about how like comfortable he is. Sometimes being behind in, a, in percent and being behind a stock can really set you on the back foot. That's a little frame trap with the up air to forward air. Alright, trying to space out back airs, but V2 is going to get in there. Love the safety of those nares, but then again, Snoofle just thinks you're going to short hop. Boom. Press that trigger. Nice down air. I don't know if that was actually an intended Thundershock. That was just like, I'm going to use my projectile when you're literally a character away from me. Why not? Pikachu does have a little bit of lag after he uses that, especially if he doesn't full hop it as well. <laughs> Drag down with Forder was so quick. Also, it helps that Fox is a very big fast baller. Ooh, okay, this bear going to knock Fox the wrong way, unfortunately. All right. Well, now we're in now we're in the danger zone. Maybe uh, Snoopy's gonna be looking for a little like a, a neutral air setup to uh, to an up smash or down air. We haven't seen JJ's proficiency at jab blocks. Don't know if that's something we'll really see here. Okay, okay, JJ. You, you think you messed up the uh, beer reverse thunder kind of the rising beer reverse thunder? I don't know what it's called. You know what's Rar thunder? R the R or the reverse arrow yeah. rush? That's one. Yeah, Rar yeah. thunder. Sorry. But that's just going to be a 3-0 and a handshake here for Snoofle. JJ's Pikachu's not quite there yet. Yeah. And it is and it is kind of rough because if you don't have those execution down, like Pikachu does have some really weird kill confirms when it comes down to it. Diddy has a lot of banana setups that he can get, and, they, and he can rely on a lot of those, even at very high percents. Pikachu kind of has a range where if he's not able to get the up throw thunder confirm, he kind of has to go for just an up throw to kill, really. So, mm. I mean, they never really got to that danger percent, but still, it's something you got to look out for. When there's up throw, there's like... Sweet spot in air at the ledge, which can be pretty useful. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, jab blocking is one of his most consistent kill setups. L I mean, learning the neutral with a new character versus any matchups that you've known before yeah. is always a struggle sometimes, too. Really, yeah, so. that's true. That's true. Well, either way, moving on to our next match, Luke Snoofle's going to stay on uh, stream, and we're going to see Ned. We're going to see some Fox Cloud. That should be fun. That should be fun. I don't think I was here the last time these two played. Yeah. I'm excited to see it. Like we said, Snoofle has been on on the hard level up. Yeah. Uh, maybe he could break into like the top five of the PR next season. We'll see. Oh He's yeah. He's just a very excellent player. Mm -hmm. But he has to break past this wall of yeah. Ned and Tyroy. And those are two just really just steel walls. Like <laughs> he's really it's hard to get past him.